Arba and Kalimera. Today I'm going to make what the Turks call Izmir Kufta and what the Greeks call Tutukakia. Now that may sound like it's been squeezed from a dog, but actually they are delicious torpedo shaped meatballs in tomato sauce. So let's start with the meatballs. I've got 500 grams of minced meat. This happens to be lamb, but you could use beef. Two stale slices of white bread with the crusts removed, half a cup of wine, in my case alcohol free, two cloves of garlic finely chopped and half a teaspoon of cumin. I'm going to start by soaking the bread in the wine. Now before you use the bread, just squeeze out any excess moisture. And keep this because it will go in the sauce. Then put all those meatball ingredients in a bowl and knead the dough well. Squeeze it between your fingers. Seal with salt and pepper and carry on kneading this really well. Some people add an egg, but you know, if you do this right, you don't need an egg to bind the meat together. Now take a piece of meat about the size of a golf ball, press it together really well between your hands, and then roll it out slightly so it becomes a torpedo shape. There we go, pop it on a plate. Carry on with the rest. And in no time at all, you'll have 10 little torpedoes. Now you can bake these meatballs and you can even grill them, but they taste much better if you fry them. So in turn, I'll take the torpedoes, dredge them in a bit of plain flour, then drop into hot olive oil. I'm doing mine in two batches and the idea is to brown them on all sides. Take about seven or eight minutes to get them really nicely browned all over. And when they are browned, take them out and pop them on a plate. So here are my delicious fried mini kebabs. Now this pan has got olive oil, but also lots of lovely meat scrublings. So I'm going to add in six peeled and chopped tomatoes. And the leftover wine from the bread soaking. Season with salt and pepper. Give it a good mix. I'll just bring it to the boil. I'm now going to cover this and cook it over a low simmer for about half an hour. Once the tomatoes have started to break down, you can take the lid off and continue to simmer to allow the sauce to thicken up. After a while, the sauce will thicken up nicely. Add in a big pinch of sugar just to add a hint of sweetness. Now add back the meatballs. Then cover and continue to simmer for about 10 minutes until the meatballs are heated through. Sprinkle over a bit of parsley and eat this with rice or my personal favourite, mashed potato. This is definitely a recipe that demands to be played with, like adding herbs into the meatballs or into the sauce or both. I'm not here to be a food Nazi, I'm here to try and inspire you to try something different. Do me a favour and do the subscribe, website, Facebook, Twitter thing, will you? And do join me next time in Tiddly's Busy Kitchen with me, Tiddly Nihan. Until next time, good afternoon.